I want to tell you about Unbroken by Laura Hillenbrand. This is going to sound familiar to you because there's a movie out right now that Angelina Jolie directed based on the book. But you should read the book first. It's better. It's always better. Um, this is one of those true stories that reads like fiction. It's so good. You just won't even believe it how good this book is. Okay, so this is the story of Louis Zamperini, who originally is known for being this amazing track star. He um, is this kind of a juvenile delinquent whose older brother um, takes him under his wing and, and pushes him on the track, and he goes on to set every record in their small town in Torrance, California. Um, he gets a full ride to University of Southern California to run, um, in 1936, he tries out and makes the U.S. Olympic team, um, track team, and he goes to Berlin, and he ends up um, running the 5,000. So he comes in eighth place in the 5,000, but his last lap was 56 seconds. Does that mean anything to you guys? I mean, that is super fast. It got the attention of Adolf Hitler, who was sitting in the stands, who invited him up to shake his hand um, and to introduce himself. And Louis goes and, um, like, climbs a flagpole and steals Hitler's flag. He's this really mischievous guy. Um, you just like him. Um, so Louis goes back to California. He ends up enlisting in the Army in 1941. Um, he's deployed into the Pacific. Uh, he's on an island there. And, and the amazing part about this story is you learn a lot about U.S. history that maybe you're not familiar with, like how many planes were lemons during that time and how many people just went down um, that weren't even involved in the battles. Um, so he and 10 other crewmen are on one of these planes out searching for other um, survivors and their, sh their plane goes down into the Pacific. I just want to there's enemy gunmen around. They're on a raft. Three of them, three of the 11 have survived. And I want to read just an excerpt so you can see the kind of intense writing um, that Hillenbrand brings out. So Louis underneath his raft, trying to avoid being shot down by the enemy gun gunmen. And it says, as he lay underwater, his legs tugged in front of him by the current. Louis looked down at his feet. His left sock was pulled up on his shin. His right had slipped halfway off. He watched it flap in the current. Then, in the murky blur beyond it, he saw a huge, gaping mouth of a shark emerge out of the darkness and rush straight at his legs. Louis recoiled, pulling his legs toward his body. The current was too strong for him to get his legs beneath them, but he was able to swing them to the side, away from the shark's mouth. The shark kept coming, directly at Louis's head. Louis remembered the advice of the old man in Honolulu. Make a threatening expression, then stiff-arm the shark's snout. As the shark lunged for his head, Louis bared his teeth, widened his eyes, and rammed his palm into the tip of the shark's nose. The shark flinched, circled away, then swam back for a second pass. Louis waited until the shark was inches from him, then struck it in the nose again. Again, the shark peeled away. Above, the bullets had stopped coming. As quickly as he could, Louis pulled himself along the cord until he reached the raft. He grabbed its wall and lifted himself clear of the shark. He and his two friends are on this raft for like 43 days. I'm not giving anything away when I say that he survives that. But what happens next is Louis and his friends being taken into a prisoner of war camp. And it's, it's horrible. It's horrible. Um, that's not really why I even encourage you to read the story. It's not that I want you to have these images in your, in your mind. It's really what happens next. And what he learns about himself and and the strength and the courage and ultimately the forgiveness. It's that knowing that you have to forgive someone else to, to save yourself. That it's not even about them anymore, but you have to forgive. That is a lesson that this book will impart that will change you and it will change you for the better. And everyone should read Unbroken so that they're changed in this way.